This video is going to help you become a master in creating coloring books for Amazon KDP. Our case study here is the Easter coloring book, but if you watch this video step by step, you are going to be able to apply this knowledge in creating any kind of museum content book for Amazon KDP. And at the end of this video, I'm also going to share with you my experience because this was one of the first strategies I used to start making money online selling ebooks. And I'm going to reveal to you how you can also use different platforms out of Amazon and how you can start making money selling ebooks. So it's going to be very interesting as I'm going to break in everything step by step. So do well to sit down and watch this video to the end. And my name is Syria and on this channel, I create content related to learning digital skills and how to monetize the skills. So if you're interested in a topic like this, consider turning on notifications for this channel because every single day i'm going to be dropping videos like this today we're going to be using two ai tools we're going to be using canva ai and we're also going to be using chat gpt i'm going to be going to detail into these tools to make you understand how you can explore the potential of these tools to be able to get the best experience and to ease your work so follow me as i'm going to chat gpt now once we're inside of chat gpt here we're going to be using chat gpt to answer two questions for us so the first question i'm going to give chat gpt goes thus i'm going to ask chat gpt to make a list of 10 key elements found in an easter coloring book for kids so i'm just going to go ahead and add here for kids and definitely it's very important that you know the key elements that are found in an easter coloring book so that even if you are designing you make sure that you put designs that are related to easter and you mention all of the you put together all the designs that are very necessary not to make your book to be one-sided so i'm just going to go ahead and click on enter here and chat gpt is going to go ahead and generate all these key elements for us so now that we have chat gpt has generated and listed all the elements that we need to have into our easter coloring book we have the eggs we have the bunnies we have chicks flowers butterflies all these are very very essential the next question we're going to be asking chat gpt is also very simple and we're going to be asking chat gpt using the elements above give me scenario prompt ideas so it's very important to mention the word scenario so that your designs are not just vague like you can just actually ask me johnny to generate a butterfly for you but when you give this scenario prompt ideas it's going to have a scene like maybe children playing and stuff like that we're going to see that when we're going to generate the images so i'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me scenario prompts ideas right now and it's going to go ahead and produce this looking at it right now ChatGPT has done its job it has generated for us all the different prompt ideas using the various keywords and if you want to read we can see here it has given the keyword like the element bunnies design a page with various bunnies doing different easter activities such as hiding eggs and eating chocolate so this is a scene and activities actually been done which is very interesting and makes a coloring book more exciting so this is the first phase of creating our coloring book so we're going to move in now into mid journey inside of mid journey this is where everything happens and we're going to be using the prompts that we generated from chat gpt i'm going to be doing a lot of customization and adding some special keywords to it so it's very important that you pay attention and watch what i'm going to do right now so for our first prompt i'm going to be giving this prompt so just check what i've written so i've asked me johnny can you draw a family of bunnies having a picnic so the keyword that chat gpt gave me was a family and into a page with a family of bunnies having a picnic that's a scene that like picturing family of bunnies having a picnic so what i've added to this keyword is interior page for coloring book for kids this is a very powerful keyword that you add to any prompt is going to change the whole system about it and it's going to give you one of the best perfect outputs so i've added this can you draw i'm kind of being interactive with it and then i've added this keyword at the end and interior page for a coloring book for kids so if i just go ahead and click on enter right now so if we look at the output right now i think that it is really really good so drawing a family of birds having a picnic interior page your coloring book so this is a power keyword here so you can get any prompts or generally you can decide to generate your own idea like i'm seeing here that drawing a family of bunnies having a picnic and you add this keyword into your page for coloring book that is just it so we're going to be giving the next prompt right now and i'm going to be showing you some power in what i'm talking about here so the next prompt is going to be easter egg decoration party so what i'm going to show you now these first two prompts are just short prompts so easter egg decoration party and then we have that same keyword but i've added something to it kids arts deco and art station so kids arts decoration since we're talking of a, a a decoration party and i've added at the end that an art station so if you go ahead and click on enter right now looking at this this is our 
easter egg decoration party so i've mentioned the fact that it's a kit art deco so if you look at it now we have something i think the first is really good so i've seen it here i've obscured the first and the second and looking at it this is what we have so i think that this is a good interior page for a coloring book so i said but i don't understand this is a very good interior page for a coloring book so the whole idea i'm telling you is that if you add this keyword here a, a coloring book page yes for a coloring book page and interior page for coloring book for kids that's just how you play with Mijon to be able to get it. And I've added this one here that kids adds the code. Another important prompt that I mentioned in my last video was talking about the cartoon keyword because adding a cartoon keyword at the beginning of any phrase is going to give it a lot of power. I'm going to be showing that in a moment. So for our next prompt, take a look at this. Look at what I've written using the cartoon keyword. So I've written cartoon drawing of happy Easter rabbit carrying an echo basket. So this is exactly what Chad GPT gave me, happy Easter rabbit carrying an egg basket you know chat gpt gives a lot of text you just need to find in the real keyword that explains the scenes basket so i've added cartoon drawing this is another very powerful keyword so you add cartoon drawing off then i've added now the statement there and i've said for coloring book i just put that and if i go ahead and click on enter right now so looking at it right now i think that it has also produced a very good page you see the first one has some kind of color on it i will not really recommend that but we have this third one here and we have this fourth that is also looking very very nice so if i go ahead and upscale the fourth um like i already did this is what we're going to have so looking closely at this i think this is a very nice interior page for a coloring book the whole idea i want to give you here is that these keywords i've mentioned the cartoon keyword and then the keyword which is at the end and it's your page for a coloring book for kids is very very important for you to be able to get the best out of me journey so, so right here now this is inside of my me journey account you can see i've generated so many images you have them here looking so good and then you have some they come out very absurd like you see this prompt here can you draw this because i actually gave this prompt without it explaining that it's an interior page for kids so the prompts that actually helped me to generate this book cover was exactly from from chat gpc ChatGPT just described how a book cover should look like then I explained to me Johnny that this is a cover a coloring book for kids I lose a lot of this just to be able to find the real keywords because if you look at this these are some images that I generated earlier but they were not nice looking but from the best images that I had you see that I mentioned the fact that it was a coloring book ads deco poster at station and then I mentioned that it was an interior page with a coloring book for kids so that's exactly how you should go about it and that's how you are going to get the best out of me journey I think that this is really good but the only way you can understand this perfectly is going now to sign up for the free plan of of me journey it is very very good you try and play around with it and if you are serious on going into creating color books as a business definitely the paid plan is going to be a super fantastic because it does not give you this kind of stress where you are discussing with others in the same group you have a separate page where you interact directly with the ai and you don't face this kind of difficulties of the page not loading and stuff like that so let's get into canva now and put these pages together and have our coloring book done so inside of canva this is where the real thing happened and this is just an example of a book that i was going to be designing this is an insta coloring book that i did it has everything there so to start designing inside of canva the first thing you need to do is go to create a design and if you are creating a book for amazon kdp the specification is there you just need to come and click on custom design and fit in the height and the width and the different format that you want to do so in our own case i'm just going to be creating something basic so i'm just going to go ahead and choose the a4 document so i'll choose the a4 document and what i'm going to be doing in this video applies to any format of document or any size that you're going to have once we have this page here i'm going to be showing you how you can customize the cover page we generated from me journey so this is the cover page here i'm just going to go ahead and insert it and as always what i do is i right click on it and i set it as background this is just to help it to fit and i don't like this tech that uh, me journey always generate i've noticed this most of the time i've tried to generate prompts that don't have this text on it but most of them don't really suit me so all you need to do is go ahead and click on elements and the elements you're going to find different elements you can choose from in my own case i'm just going to go i love using this i'm going to insert it into my workspace and once it's inserted i'm going to go ahead and cover this i'm just going to make the video very fast because i think that this is not an issue except you are beginner into canva and i have a full tutorial here showing you how to start using canva from scratch so what i'm going to do here right now is to increase the rounding i always like to increase it to 100 and i'm going to change the color to pick up something from behind so i'm just going to click on this take this option here and i choose this color so that it matches boom we just cover the text and that's how you do to customize this cover page from 
mid journey so another thing you can do is to add these borders here i can go ahead and add some red borders to it so that it actually makes the page lively and nice looking so i'm going to add the same color like what is on the design so you see we have some kind of red borders here it's cool right so the next thing we're going to be adding is text so since we're actually creating a color book for kids i'm just going to add this heading here and i say super high highway this doesn't make sense but i just want to show you what you need to do what you need to do and what always catches many people's attention is the kind of font here if you know how to choose the best playful fonts for kids definitely are going to grab people's attention especially on kdp amazon kdp and especially if you're going to be advertising on facebook or running ads i'm going to be telling you because that's how i did to make my own money and let me go and look for some kind of playful fonts i don't know if i'm going to get it right now but let me look at this um yeah, since i'm talking about highway yes this really looks cool since i'm talking about highway so i'm just going to put it this way but there are many other kids phones that are playful that you can go ahead and try out to see what it looks like so i'm just going to pick this and um let me try to change the color to what the page has i'm not going to put this i'll put something blue yeah you just need to play around and put something kind of shiny and catchy you take a lot of hours and you take some minutes not hours and you get fix that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add in the next page so what you can go ahead and do is search for in element section you can search for a borderline it's a particular borderline i always use i can't find it now so what i'm going to do i'm just going to go ahead and pick this though this is um okay yes once i pick this i move it up to the right here and i increase it from this angle so the whole idea is i want to get something that is going to be at the border so this one looks cool i discovered this today so you just put it this way and you keep this page blank and the next thing i'm going to duplicate this page and once i duplicate this page now i'm going to show you now how to insert your first design so i'm just going to choose any random design here to show you what it looks like so once i put this design into my dashboard this is it i do not actually tell you something inside of mid journey there's also a way to specify your the aspect ratio and the size of the image is the way you want it to look like i'm just going to put it up here so you can copy and add to your prompt so what you need to do now is this is the image i don't know why it's going to load okay you need to just right click and hold it you can be able to move it here and i take it up until i meet this red line so there's this red line that canvas shows and it has really been helping me so once i put it to that red line at that angle i write i go to the bottom right i drag it here to where i meet that red line again and then i come now to the center and i drag it to the bottom so to that red line so this is absolutely good right so the next thing you need to do i duplicate the same page that's what amazon kdp a lot of people have been doing and i've been using it i take that off and i still duplicate the page again and i'm still going to choose any other random design to put this image here of santa that was the christmas coloring book i was creating but definitely i'm just showing you how to insert these pages because it doesn't matter the kind of coloring book even if it's easter or the main thing is just to have your images set up like i've shown you in mid journey and then to play around with it here i just take it up where i made that red line i come to the bottom right uh i bring it this way and then i come to the center here i bring it to the bottom and boom now we have our interior pages looking so good so you can play around with it choose any kind of border i've shown you how to do this you are just going to replicate this and do this for all the other pages so this is it now we have our cover page and we have our designs and this is the final output guys look at what i took my time and i did you see the border line here is kind of little thin and you see the kind of fonts i've put on the cover and all these other things are just for you to take your time use 30 minutes or auto and i are going to be able to have something looking good like this so you just watched that video i've explained you everything from chat gpt to mid journey and canva and definitely guys i've tried to explain all i could and if there's any prompts that you feel like you didn't understand or you don't have some kind of mix up please drop a comment i love responding to comments so so much and another thing is that if you're an expert you're watching this video and there's anything i've missed out please give me the correction here if you have some special prompts that you love and you think that has been working with you to generate prompts to generate these um, color book images on mid journey please do well to share it also that we add it to our prompts guide and share with others so that you have a soft life generating color books for amazon kdp that's why i want to introduce another thing because as ai has made it possible like this a lot of people are going to be watching these videos but one thing you need to know is that not everybody that watches these videos implement so the only way you can make a difference between you watching this video and someone who has not watched this video is for you to go and implement and let me tell you this no matter the kind of views if this video get 1 million views i bet you that not up to maximum maybe say 100,000 people are going to implement this and be successful we might have 500,000 people implementing it but like let's say 100,000 people are going to be successful so you just calculate that percentage and know the number of people who are 
really serious and devoted to fail, fail, and fail, and succeed. And one thing I need to let you know is you should not only depend on Amazon KDP to be selling these books. Personally, I made money selling ebooks, although they were not calling books, but it was out of the Amazon KDP platform. What was it? What I did was actually go to this PLR platform by then. I didn't know how to create ebooks like I'm doing right now. I downloaded some ebooks there. You have the right to resell it. I just designed it redesign the cover page i put them together and i ran ads on facebook and instagram guys when you know how to target the right audience put these books at a very affordable price make sure that you have a nice looking cover same with these coloring books if you make a nice looking cover put them at an affordable price since you have little or no stress generating this book guys make it do good use paid ads because i'm telling you organic traffic is good but it's slow when you want to start having fast results guys you need to use paid ads on any different platform that you want to do i've heard that tiktok is doing so well right now but i'm used to facebook instagram and google guys do this and you can start making a lot of money even out of this platform do research and find out other platforms where you can sell books and on this channel we're going to build a platform that was a business idea that i actually thought of we're going to build a platform where we're going to be selling ebooks it's going to be a store it's going to have some kind of ai kind of stuff i'm going to be revealing that so if you want to know how you can start a business with this turn on notifications for this channel and tell me siri i turn on notifications so i'm going to know that you were there when i started and you know i'm still at 400 right now so if you give me a subscription it's going to be a big support to me and i'm going to appreciate it so much so my name is siri and this is double t ciao I don't have gone away with it for like and comment now. Okay, if you don't want to like and comment, just like then carry the link and go and share. <laughs>